So how do we look at our real strengths here? Our real strengths are the network of alliances and partnerships around the world. And in that regard, quietly below the radar, uh, below the radar of what is often in the public domain, <clears throat> I'll just run through what I've done in the last 30 days. In the first week of October, I was at NATO, our most important alliance, uh, 29 nations that work together. Uh, every one of them has its own interests, its own perspective, but at the end of the day, NATO is stronger than ever in terms of 27 nations clearly raising their, uh, their defense expenditures, nations that uh, were aligned with us when I rolled out the nuclear posture review. I can go on. It's a strong alliance, and it's getting stronger. Uh, my next trip was down to Cancun, where I met with the Latin American, South America, Central America, Mexico, uh, ministers of defense. I, th I look back on 2017, I thought that's a pretty crummy year for democracy around the world. Not so in South America, not so in Central America, not so in Mexico. Imperfect it may be, full of economic headwinds, clearly the American appetite for drugs and European is dumping a lot of money in that corrodes their institutions, but democracy is alive and well. They're holding elections. They don't know who's going to win. That's the way it should be in a democracy, and it's going well down there. First time I heard my position described as being minister, you'll love this, President Nancy, minister of peace, not minister of defense. Um, but, uh, and then <clears throat> I just got back. Uh, from, no, the, uh, went out to Singapore, met with ASEAN uh, two weeks ago, uh, where we are welcome, where many nations in private will tell us why they need us engaged out there, because they're concerned about what China is doing and the piling of massive debt, to quote Prime Minister Modi, uh, on nations that they know, China knows, cannot repay it. And then you see what happened in Sri Lanka, where they lost sovereignty over their own harbor. Uh, and one of those issues I'll be talking, obviously, with my counterpart about here in Washington shortly. And then uh, two days ago, I got back from the Manama Dialogue in the Middle East, where we were talking about how we move forward on a security architecture that maintains peace or what passes for peace right now in the Middle East and restores peace in several key areas, Yemen being foremost, obviously Syria uh, moving towards the Geneva process uh, against Russia's uh, uh, example, frankly.